Honestly, all that cleaning you did yesterday didn't really make a difference because the house looks like a mess. All right, I'm on the guy's side, that's a funny message. Nice shot. You guys absolutely loved it last time we did this. So we're going to do another Reddit review. This is a Reddit where it's funny places and text messages that people send to each other. They're not all going to be like dating related, but we're going to give it a crack anyway. Exchange with a hookup. When can I see you next? I'm kind of seeing someone. Oh, sh no worries. Good for you. Thanks. It's a bit new, but I want to see how it goes. Totally respect it. I've been spending a lot of time with someone too. However, we have no exclusivity convo. I don't care. Sorry, I don't know how to read messages and fear you may have read that message wrong, but all is well on my end, and I wish you good luck in your new venture. Oh God. I didn't ask, but wish you the best. Oh, Lamau. It's really uh, good that you're still trying to fuck me still. Well, sorry, I didn't... Uh, sorry, wasn't trying to make a competition or anything. I was just chatting, but you did. So, well, I apologize for that. It wasn't my intention. I don't care. Okay, enjoy. You too. Uh, your subpar pussy. I don't want to hear anything from you. You just don't ever reach out and then you're like, oh, I'm seeing someone else. We're good. Then don't reach out. Pissing me off. You lied about your height and hinge anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry for not reaching out more and for bringing that up. Best of luck with everything. And I genuinely enjoyed meeting you and the time spent. Waste of time. It's my best friend's birthday, and now you've pissed me off. You're gross. How rude of you to say all of this on a friend's birthday. I know. How dare you? You've come to me on the birthday of my best friends. <laughs> when agreeing to just being friends goes the wrong way. Oh, God. Okay, sounds good. There was a couple of important... Oh, see, full image. Here we go. Okay, sounds good. There's a couple of important things I want to tell you. I want you to know about me. I'm recently divorced after being married for a really long time. I have an 11-year-old son. I get them every other week. I know you've been all over the place and giving and giving you mixed signals. You're the first pretty girl I've tried to hang out with in a long time. I'm happy I met you though. Chatting with you really helped get in my head right. Oh god, he's really dumping it here. Oh, this is a huge message, man. From okay sounds good to like life story. Whew, oh, here we go. I know I'm being forward, but I want to clear some. I want you to know that I think you're smart, funny, successful, and attractive, and I would love to take you out. If I'm not your type, you're not interested in me in that way, or just honest, let me know. I'm a big boy, I'll be okay. Even with all that, you're really cool, and I would still like to be friends and hang out. Um, I'm kind of a flirt, so even as friends, I probably won't stop flirting with you. Sorry in advance, Lamau. Okay? That's like, I'm happy to be friends, but I'm still gonna make advances on you. That's like really fucking cringe. By the way, you look really pretty in your updated meetup profile. Oh, fucking, he's, oh, this is huge. This is a big message. Oh boy, get out your advanced scrolling thumbs. We're going to be scrolling for months on this one. By the way, you look pretty in your recent updated photo. I can see what you did with the border matching your shirt. Definitely a cool girl. Yeah, definitely a cool girl. Just let me know if you want to hang out and I'll plan something. We can figure something out together. Slim, hope this message reaches you. <laughs> I hope you hear it. I'm doing 90 right now on the freeway. <laughs> Holy, don't worry. I'm not asking you to go steady with me. It's just hanging out and getting to know each other, but I'll still make advances of you and I won't stop on the flirt, LaMelle. But when, when it's the last time you heard someone say, go steady, <laughs> sorry, I know I'm corny sometimes, <laughs> lol. You're single, right? No boyfriend, fiance, husband. I probably should have asked this a while ago. Also, the next test, uh, also the text only thing is lame. The text only thing is lame, but we can talk about that some other time. If you choose to ghost me after this, it was really nice meeting you. Oh my god, he's still going, dude. Just let me know. Sorry, I'm corny sometimes. Also, but we can talk some... Ah, uh, also, if you choose to ghost me after this, it was really nice talking to you. Good luck with your career and relationships. Don't be weird if we bump into each other and meet up at events. We're good. Lamau. Met a guy at a meetup event. He messaged me on the app after and asked if it would be okay with being friends. And I would be down to just play pickup ball and him as friends since my interest was to meet new people and create new friendships. I agreed. Eventually, after trading phone numbers, I quickly sensed that his intentions were not being just friends. What gave you that message? <laughs> Those are words. <laughs> and many of them. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a man of... I'm a man of few words. A favorite thing is, even if you just want to be friends, that's okay with me, but I'm a flirt, so I'll still probably try and date you. <laughs> He's just like, if you shut me down, it doesn't matter. My boyfriend is being rude all of a sudden, and I don't know why. Can you pick him up some dinner on the way home? I can't find anything to cook. I'm going to grocery shopping tomorrow. Why can't you just cook? We rarely have anything in the pantry. You told me when we got home yesterday that we were going to go shopping and restock, but you never did it. So I said I'm going to go tomorrow. I forgot. Yeah, I know. Can you please pick up something? I don't feel like it. Just order over the phone. You really can't just drop by your way home and grab a pizza. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Two out of eight. Oh, it's big. Pizza? I'm tired. Just call, dude. Was 
That you who poured all my coffee out this morning, a bug landed in it, so yes. I made a new one for you though. I didn't see the new one. I left it right by the stove. You couldn't see it before you left? No, it was a fucking rush. How could I see it? Oh god, he's gone through it today. Oh, this is going to be a juicy one, guys. Buckle up. There's eight of these messages, by the way. There's no need to curse at me. I let it right by there, so uh, I left it right by where you usually leave your coffee, so I thought you would just pick it up. Well, I didn't see it, and now, oh god, it's going to be a juicy one. Bug landed in it. Uh, I didn't see the new one. Left it. No, I couldn't see it. There's no need to curse at me. Well, I didn't see it, and now I'm sitting here at my desk tied because of you. I can pick up some Starbucks for you. No, just leave it. Fuck, I don't even want to see you right now. God, he's so mad. Okay. Can you please pick up some Chick-fil-A for me and drop it off? They won't allow me to DoorDash. Okay, but why can't you get it yourself? Really? This hey, talk to me now? What? I asked a simple question. I'll still bring it to you. Nah, forget it. Now I risk going over my lunch break because you want to be a fucking pissy and ask me stupid questions instead of giving me some damn Chick-fil-A. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. What the fuck? What? I'll ask you a simple question. I'll still bring it to you. Okay. Can you please stop cursing at me? Uh, I still have to get it. I don't know why you're reacting like this. Whatever. I hope you're cooking dinner tonight. I might just order and take out again. I'm exhausted. Lazy. Oh shit. Next. You're being so nasty today. I'm not... I'm being my normal self. This isn't how you normally speak to me. Honestly, all that cleaning you did yesterday didn't really make a difference because the house looks like a mess. <laughs> All right, on the guy's side, that's a funny message. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay, maybe if it helped, it would look better. All right, this that, okay, that's just funny. That, that's he's obviously trying to instigate something. That that was more that was more funny than anything. Uh, you can manage that on your own. I pay all the bills, so can you please stop messaging me just to pick on me? I'm not picking on you. I'm just stating the facts. I'm tired of you talking to me like this. I don't know what I did to you, but we have changed so much, and it seems overnight. You need a therapist. You're the one who's been talking to me in all sorts of ways and not helping me with favors. Oh, shit. He's girl boss gaslighting her now. Gaslighting doesn't exist, you're just being crazy. Um, you're the one who's been talking to me and not helping me with favors. What are you talking about? I've been respectful in all sorts of uh, conversations. Scroll up. Is that not you asking me stupid questions and not helping me out by picking up my lunch and stuff? Stop trying to twist shit. You always want to be the victim. What? Lol, now you want to act all confused, cry me a river. I'll see you when you get home. Baby has notifications. Silent. <laughs> <laughs> dumb town, population, baby. Yep, dumb town, fuck you up. True. <laughs> this man does not fucking like you. <laughs> you go to Reddit, it's like, why does my partner hate me now? I don't know why. This man hates you. Next. Yeah, this relationship's done. If you ever um, allow him to keep talking to you like this, it'll only get worse. A hundred percent. Oh, these are good. Don't allow this, but do not allow this behavior. True. Telling a guy I went on one date with that he can't come to my sister's wedding. <laughs> oh God, this is going to go well. Oh, that's a hit. Okay, here we go. Uh, can I like zoom this out a little bit so you can see it properly? Yeah. I don't understand why it's such an issue for you. It's not an issue. It's just you don't know these people and they don't know you. It's not about whether I know them or not. It's about whether you would bring me, uh, you would rather bring some random as a plus one rather than the person you're supposed to be wanting a relationship with. Oh God. Dude, we've known each other for like a month. A month is a long time to be fair. Actually, a month is a long time. If they've only been on one date, it's different. If they've been consistently dating for a month and a wedding's coming up, that's a pretty romantic occasion to like really seal in a relationship from a situationship. Think about it. And yeah, I want a relationship with you, but I'm not taking to my sister's wedding as a part of us. Oh, okay, second date. So they've dated once, known each other for a, a month. I really don't want to offend, but it's not like... I really don't want to offend, but I don't know whether or not this is going to pan out yet. And I don't want to gamble everything with my sister's wedding like that. That's pretty disappointing here, not gonna lie. What happened to um, feeling a connection? We had a great time last week and now you're just not sure whether it's gonna work or not. I did have a great time, and reg but a regular date is so different from a wedding. I don't know if I feel comfortable with having you there. I make you feel uncomfortable? That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, this is dead. That's like what it sounds like. You're not ready for a commitment. Maybe you shouldn't be looking for a long-term relationship. I'll think about it, okay? That's the best I can give you right now. They seem to be trying to work it out. However, if the girl says no, 
What you do is keep messaging her and trying to belittle her about it. Okay, here we go. Hey, this is how long later? How long later? Update, how long later? When was these first messages sent? Nine, so it's been an hour. So she sat on, she sat on the messages for an hour. Hey, I've thought about it and sorry, but I'm not gonna bring you to the wedding. It just doesn't make any sense to me to introduce you to my entire family on our second date. And on top of that, it would just make their wedding more hectic for my sister by introducing her to a new person. I was pretty concerned by the way you reacted when I told you no. It felt pushy, manipulative, and really changed my perception of you, and it turned me off wanting to bring you. So I'm sorry, but again, I don't think we should go out again. I hope you understand. Whoa, she re she just cut it off. Whew. I see. Well, I didn't realize wanting to go on a wedding was such a turn off for girls, but thanks for nothing, I guess. Well, it wasn't really wanting to go out of the wedding I had an issue with. It was more that you got weird and kind of argumentative when I told you I wasn't comfortable with it. And I wasn't wanting to go to a wedding. And I wasn't saying wanting to go to the wedding's a turn off. It's more that the way you were acted made me uncomfortable with the idea of having you there. Which is very fair. Mm. You know, I was really excited to see this with where this went. Kind of shitty to you imply that you wanted a second date when we went on but it switched up to me like that. <sighs> See, the thing is, this is a very, like, mm, I'm definitely 100% on the girl or guy side right now. I'm definitely 100% on the girl or guy side right now, but in the first, in this here, it feels like I f if it really feels like the the girl says she's interested but doesn't really want to take a chance on it yet and for the guy it's like well i the guy probably completely and fully understands that going to a wedding is a huge difference than a cute little date but it's like well it could be you taking a huge risk on me and you not willing to take that huge risk on me hurts me because i really like you and i want to see this go somewhere and hearing the fact that you don't want to take a huge risk on me hurts Instead, he kind of fumbled the way of expressing himself and it just went fucking downhill so goddamn quick. All right, let's go to step three. It's like the one thing you want to... It's like one thing to not want to go out with me, but it's really not cool of you to make me feel like you're interested one day and then make me feel like a creep the next. Like, I don't deserve that. Especially because I was really polite on our date and I made extra sure of it. But nah, you'd rather go with some rando. Worse than that, you didn't say you were just gonna go with friends. Funny that you could go, uh, funny that you could go and be seen with all, with a tall charismatic man, but you'd rather be seen alone. That's none of our business. Alrighty, I'm about to leave for work, so I don't really have time to respond to all this, but fuck it. So we're clear, I've known, we've known each other for a month. We met for the first time last week and you keep saying some rando. But you realize that that's you, right? <laughs> to me and everybody else at the wedding, you would be that random guy, I don't know. Second of all, you did act fine on our date. You were very polite and I appreciated it. I was willing to go on a second date, but before, but that was before I learned that A, you couldn't take no for an answer, B, that you felt like you needed to twist, that you feel the need to twist all of my words, and C, that you think it's an insult for me to take friends to a wedding. Man, I can't believe this. <laughs> He's living in his own world. He can't see outside of it. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's going all in. Here we go. Were you ever interested in me? Or were you just interested in a free meal? Is that what you said you'd take me to that Mexican place near your house for our next date? No, she said that because it's close to her house the next date. You were going to smash. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> because you never knew you actually have it. Is that why you said you wanted to take it slow? Wouldn't even kiss me because you felt like it would be such a big deal? Man, Jesus Christ, it was such a kiss. It was just a kiss. I wasn't trying to fuck you in public. <sighs> oh, God, he's he's gone through it. He's gone through it. Okay, Whew. here we go, guys. Buckle up. Is this the last one? Yeah, it's the last one. Dude, stop calling me. I said I'm at work. Pfft. No. <laughs> you said you're on your way to work. Were you ever interested in me? Or were you interested in a free meal? That literally doesn't make any sense. I went out with you in the first place because I was interested. I said I wanted to go to Peanuts as a second date because I was interested. I want to take it slow because I was interested. Get your head out of your ass. Thanks for showing me that I dodged a bullet. I would have I, um, I would have had to apologize to my parents after you inevitably flew off the handle when you had one of them say no to you. 
And by the way, I didn't kiss you because your breath smelled absolutely fucking rancid. Invest in a toothbrush. I'll be blocking you now. <laughs> fucking got him. Even if his breath wasn't bad, that's a fucking killer line to end that on. Fucking kill him and bury him. Nice. Yeah, good shit. Wait. Damn. Damn. The the weight. Yeah. Dude, that line killed me. Of the whole time I was in my best behavior, I made sure of it. Yeah, that sounds kind of like psychopathic. It's like, dude, I made sure I wasn't being a complete fucking crazy person. I tried really hard to make sure I like reserved all my intensity. It's like, yeah, doubling down. <laughs> oh, I've seen this one. I saw this one on Critical's channel, so I'm not going to go through that. My neighbor said he's going to drop by at 1am to ask a question. Oh, fuck. My neighbor asked he's going to drop by 1am to ask me a question. Wait, I haven't seen it. Okay, well, we might look at that one after this one. Hey, hi, what's up? <sighs> I was hoping I could ask you a question in person if you don't mind. Is it too late right now or maybe in the morning? What was the question? In person. I'd rather just do it over text. Why though? It's almost like you don't like talking at all. I've tried to talk to you in person a couple times, but it seemed like you weren't interested. Oh, I'm just not a social person. I don't even have a social media or anything like that. Ah, it all makes sense now. Okay, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable, but I, I see. So far, so good. Hey, so far, so good. Oh, we have some context here. Context, I'm a single woman in my 20s. I live in an apartment building on my own with my pets. I don't know anyone in the building. A few months ago, I've heard two of my neighbors talking about a mouse problem in our building. Very, the building is very old. Had glue mouse traps, so I offered to one of them in a guy. Guy's in his 20s. I dropped him off his apartment with my number so he could ask questions about how to safely free the mouse from the trap. He kept me updated with the mouse situation and gave me a gift to thank me, which was nice. I would occasionally just text to say happy holidays or whatever. I thought it was just neighborly stuff. He texted me early in the morning. At 1 a.m. and ask me a question. Okay, here we go. This is some horror movie fucking like uh, stuff here. Okay, it makes sense now. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Bang a response here. But I really like to ask my question in perfect uh, in person. It's the most comfortable way to ask, honestly. Oh, what's your question? Not even related. Okay, what's the question then? He just said that he's not going to ask it. She's obviously very sus on this. Here we go. You're very persuasive, but I'm not gonna try to spill it so easily. I'll, rather, I'll prefer asking a question. Okay, I really don't have much time or anything though, so it's probably best over text. She's feeling very uncomfortable at this. Uh, whatever, you have the time. Uh, if you're comfortable with me coming over to your door, I can do it. I can do that. It'll only be a few minutes. If not, whenever we bump into each other, if you have the time, I can ask you then. You're, not making, you're making me kind of anxious because I don't know what the question is. I feel like we all kind of know what the question is. This guy is getting pretty interested in this girl. <sighs> I'm curious, what do you have in mind? Ah, oh, so now he's fishing for information. It's like, is she worried that I'm going to ask him out? I don't know. That's why it makes me anxious. Well, what you going to worry about since I'm not willing to ask over text? So what you're going to do about it since I'm not willing to ask over text? I will do nothing at all. Is it okay if I come knock on your door? Then I'll stand outside. You don't have to let me in. It's just a quick, uh, quick question. Oh God, this is so creepy. No, it's very late at night. I'm going to bed. Okay, no problem. How about sometime later today? I'm sorry, but you either willing me to... I'm sorry, but either you will have to ask me over text or not at all. That's okay. I totally understand. Good night. <laughs> I would have not texted this man, I'm going to bed. I would have texted this man, no, sorry. I'm going to be staying up for 47 days straight now. <laughs> Good night. I wonder if he only asked this question in perfect advice taken too seriously without understanding there's a time and a place. 1am's crazy. 100% he's gonna ask you out. Dude's weird as shit though. At 1am? Not crazy at all. Yeah. Well, you, well, what are you gonna do about it since I'm not willing to ask over text? The question is, are you about a size 6? Do you prefer aloe or cocoa butter? How do you feel about early 19th century walls? Oh, well, yeah, that's just cringe. Well, that's it. Hopefully you like reading some text messages with me. There's a lot of drama here. This is not more of a fun one, but this is more of a, like a delve into the insanity of what normal people have to go through in their everyday lives. Hopefully your days and life is like mine, where all I do is talk to League of people in League of Legends in my Twitch or television chat room. And that's it. That's the extent of my like social interaction.